Good morning, kiddos. This is Mr. B. And it is Tuesday, June. June. Whoa, June 1st. Uh, this is week 12. This is not a graded week of work. And as we are completed with work as it related to music foundations and music fundamentals, we are going to attend a little bit here in our final few weeks to the musical elements in terms of music appreciation in general. We're going we're gonna to listen to some music and I want you to listen to that music in the context of these types of elements. Um, the elements of music, and here's a, a graphic organizer that's also available in Canvas for you to see it. But let's go over these really quick so we can better understand what we're talking about, what is the vocabulary that we're using. You should also understand that as these are you know, defined by this author uh, as musical elements, they vary. A musical element can be a variety of things that you identify. And it just helps to have some uniformity about what our terms are as we're describing music. But even lyrics are a musical element that are not being considered here. Uh, and they're often a very relevant part, especially in a lot of the music that we listen to uh, in, movie, in movies and, and sound uh, tracks and that kind of idea and shows, those kind of ideas. So uh, the first thing to start with really is um, let's start with tempo. The tempo is the speed of the pulse, the rate at which, how fast or slow we are going. And that's the first thing we really consider when we look at making music is what is the tempo that we're going at? And I've shown you that there's a relationship, a correlation, a reduction that you can actually go down to, you know, the C minus four range. And you can find those correlations, those 12 tones that would be consonant with tempo in the range of 61 BPM all the way, you know, let's say to uh, 123 BPM at C minus three, that kind of idea. Uh, pulse is the beat of the music. You can think of pulse, beat, they're the same notion. It is what is regular. The word reggae means regular. That's what it's about. It's about the heartbeat. And that's that constant pulse, that idea, all right? Um, so in contrast to pulse, we have the idea of rhythm. And rhythm is the, um, the percussive element or the, uh, the pulse that is either different than or in unison with occasionally uh, with the beat. So rhythm can be with the beat and rhythm can do other things. An example would be, um, here's the beat for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Straightforward. But the rhythm for Twinkle Twinkle Little, little Star is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. That's rhythm. Rhythm has a connection with melody. And in this case, we have not listed, melody is not listed here as this author, as a musical element. It by all means is. And it has a relationship with pitch. Melody is going to be perhaps a pattern, a relationship of pitches and how they relate together. A pattern of those pitches may be considered as a mode. If we keep the structure the same and move from different root tones, it can be a scale if we stay specifically only within a mode within a you know, given set of uh, from one anchor and not moving from that anchor. That can be a scale. But that's related then to pitch. Duration also is related then to how a melody line will feel the duration of a note. Um, so often more interesting to think of pitch and duration collectively as a notion of melody, which certainly right there is next to rhythm because they're related ideas. Again, uh, Mary had a little lamb, those kinds of ideas. That is melody and rhythm, and they have usually some form of syncopation, meaning they are together. Um, timber. Timber is an important understanding, um, not just in Timber Lake. In this case, it is the idea that literally any sound can be composed from the fundamental and that the difference between say a cymbal or other sounds is really just a matter of what their overtone structure really is so timber is a big part of how if i play a c on the piano versus i play a c on the trumpet they're both fundamentally mathematically the same at their root tone but what makes them different are the overtone series that follow uh, the fundamental being not an overtone, but the root tone, the core tone, the fundamental, the origin of that, that structure 
in terms of that note or that pitch, that single pitch. Uh, structure is the way in which the overall music is arranged. Like uh, the Beatles use a, a typical format. Uh, Genesis um, helped to amplify our knowledge of that with the phrase abacab, A-B-A-C-A-B. -A -A -B. Um, A-B is what's called rondo form. So if I do one thing and then I do something else and I keep going back and forth between those two things, that is what is called rondo form. Um, this is what is referred to as structure. Um, texture is the way in which the melody, the rhythm, and the harmony are all combined in a piece of music and what each part is doing. So texture can refer to how complicated something is. Think of texture maybe like pasta. If I'm having uh, just good old straight spaghetti, you know, round noodle pasta, right, with uh, tomato sauce and a, a good marinara, a little bit of meat maybe, a little bit of breadcrumb, a little bit of cheese, I'm getting hungry. Those are all textural elements. Um, if I put too much stuff in it, it becomes overwhelming and it's, I can't really taste any of the individual elements sometimes. So think of texture as the number of elements that you're using kind of together to create an experience, hopefully intentionally, that is palatable, digestible even. Tonality is the key in which a piece is written. Now, it can change as the, key progress, as the song progresses, like we discussed. So key would be similar to the idea of a scale. And uh, remember, the mode is more of a geometric organization of uh, jumps, you know, half steps, whole steps, those kinds of ideas. Um, the scale is specific to a particular root, starting somewhere and then using that pattern. Um, dynamics, how loud uh, or how soft something gets, right? And then harmony uh, is, again, this relationship between two or more, more notes that are sounded simultaneously. Now, sometimes they can be sounded simultaneously by a piano, by the same instrument, but really, really good craftspersons, craftspeople, um, when, they're, when we're making music, we really think about that vertical arrangement from the lowest notes of bass and really starting with tempo again. For the most part, tempo is considered to be kind of a static thing, meaning it does not change. But really, tempo is a dynamic thing, and we use subtle changes in tempo in performances, um, both recorded and live, to create a different type of experience, slowing down, getting softer for effect sometimes. Anyway, so that is uh, the extent of our lecture this week with regard to uh, music elements. Um, and we are going to follow this up with a bit of appreciation of listening to uh, some music um, and thinking about these elements as we audition these pieces, thinking about them in terms of musical elements, not just casually listening, but, but really observing, observation, but observing with our ears is sort of the idea. All right, all y'all, I'm going to go ahead and end this. Thank y'all for being here.